Hi there, I'm Pash and welcome to my YouTube channel Smart Study Lab where I talk about research-backed smarter ways to study so that to help you learn more in less time and remember more for longer thereby helping you score better marks in your exams while studying lesser number of hours and also giving you more time to play sports or pursue any other hobby without affecting your studies. Well, if you haven't already done so, then please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, by pressing the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen to learn about more than 20 research back smarter ways to study. Well, today I'm going to tell you about another secret which will help you score better marks in your exams while studying lesser number of hours. And the big secret is that all the toppers already keep pace with what is being taught in class to get better marks while studying lesser. Now you can too. Well, to be honest, smart students know the simple fact that since you cannot do anything else other than study in class, it is better to focus your mind on what is being taught in class. Concentrate and try to learn everything that is being taught in the classroom. Follow these simple steps to keep pace with what is being taught in the class. First, listen, not just hear, and make a serious attempt to learn everything that your teacher has to teach and note down the important points. Learn what to listen for and keep your ear out for repetition of points, words or concepts and note them down as they may be important for the exam. Second, review the notes that you have taken and fill in the gaps if any. Spend two minutes at the end of each class to quickly review the notes that you have prepared and expand on them. If you do not understand your own notes, ask a classmate. This, this quick revision will help your brain take in just that little bit more and you will also retain more when you revisit your notes later. Third, if you miss part of the topic in class, then make sure that you reach out to your teacher later and request for the missed part to be explained again. It is best if you can do this on the same day or as early as possible. Fourth. After class, on the same day, try and recollect in your mind what you have learned in class. That is practice retrieval of information. Retrieval of information is a very, very smart way to study and it has been covered in a separate video. This will seem difficult in the beginning, but if you practice retrieval of information every day, you will eventually train your mind to do this as a habit. The good thing about retrieval practice is that it can be done anywhere. It can be done on the bus while returning home, while you're taking a walk, or even when you're taking a bath. Five, if you decide to learn a topic for the final exam, make sure that you attend all the lectures for the topic and learn all the subtopics or subchapters within the topic. Refer the syllabus and make sure that the entire syllabus for the topic has been covered by you. Your preparation should be so thorough within that topic that you are able to answer any question that is asked from that topic during the exam. Part learning a topic may not be such a good idea because you may be asked a question from the part that you decided to leave out. Just imagine how disappointed you would feel if you learned say 80% of the topic and left out 20% and you were asked a question in the exam from the 20% that you decided to leave out. So make sure if, that if you learn a topic, learn it thoroughly, learn it fully. If you do not get to choose where you sit in class, then it should not really matter where you sit in the class but that you're able to hear the teacher well and see the board clearly. But if you do get to choose where you sit in class, then definitely choose the front seats because research shows that students who sit at the front tend to get higher marks in their exams. Smart students keep pace with the class as it not only benefits them during the exam, but it also reduces the stress that comes with studies. So my smart study tip via this video is to keep pace with the class and thereby improve your academic performance. If keeping pace with the class makes sense to you, then do press the like button to show your support. If you've not already done so, then by all means press the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen and also share this video with all your friends on social media and WhatsApp so that everybody can benefit from this smart study trick. Well, today's tip was simple, isn't it? But before I sign off, I want to ask you the question of the week, which is what is your favorite tip or suggestion for studying smarter? Post them in the comments below and remember that some of the best tips, suggestions and feedback comes from you, the smart student community. So definitely connect with other smarter students in the comments below. Next week, I'm going to tell you about another secret which smart students or the smarter students that you know follow to get better marks in their exams while studying lesser. That is reading today what will be taught in class tomorrow. But more about this research back tip next week. Till then, thanks for watching. Smile more. 
be happy and make others around you happier and study smarter. See you next week.